Hello, in this video I'll show you the basics of routing in Angular, including how to add the app routing module to a project that did not have routing to begin with. First thing I'll do is create a new project inside of my Angular folder here with ng new Angular, Angular routing demo. Even though this video is about routing, I'm going to say no right here because I want to add routing to a project that did not have routing to begin with. So I'll say no and I'll choose regular CSS. Now I'll change into that directory that we just created, Angular routing demo, and open with VS Code. Here we have the project opened up in Visual Studio inside the source app. There's the main app component there. I'm going to delete everything in here. And we can see what this looks like by opening up the terminal and we'll say ng serve dash dash open. So there you can see what the component looked like before. I've deleted everything out, so when I save, it's blank. And we need, first I'll put a title. Call it Angular Routing Demo. And let's put some components in here. Since this is about routing, we probably really need at least two components. So I'll create two components. First will be ng generate component. We'll do one about languages, spoken languages. And then we'll do another component for programming languages. We have two components. Let's look at the spoken languages. First thing we'll do is put in some languages here, some commonly spoken languages throughout the world. So in our spoken languages template, let's create an H3 spoken languages. English, Mandarin Chinese, Hindi, Spanish, and French. So we have some spoken languages, then let's look at our programming languages. Let's add some programming languages in there. We'll say JavaScript, TypeScript, C sharp, Java, PHP. We'll add an H3. Programming languages. And then let's go back to our app component and let's add in programming languages and spoken languages. Save that. Okay, we have our two components. So we have a project with two components. We'll consider this was just an existing project that did not have routing. So what are the steps to add routing to a project? The first thing I'll do is generate a module. ng generate module app routing 
dash dash flat, but we put it under the source app directory there. And then module equals app. So it will import for us into app module dot ts file. If we look at app module, we can see app routing modules there already. And now if we look at our app routing module TypeScript file, we've had some changes that we need to make here. First thing is we don't need the common module. So we can take that out of the imports. But we do need the routing module. router module and routes and let's import the components that we created we had a spoken languages component and a programming languages component And let's create a constant for the routes that we're going to use. And each route needs a path spoken. So this will be part of the URL here. And the component that will be used is spoken languages component. And we'll create one more path programming and the component will be programming languages component so now we have two paths but we need to import router module using the for root method and we're going to pass in routes and with that for root, so the path will be the root path slash spoken or slash programming. And we have some exports. Router module. Save. And then let's look at app component again. Now we can take these components out. Save, we can see they're gone. And now let's add in router outlet. And now if we change the path, we go to spoken, for example. We can see spoken. And if we go to programming, we can see the programming languages component. But it would be convenient if we had some navigation. Let's add some buttons for navigation. Anchor tag. Don't need an href, but let's add a class for the button. And then router link. So we have our first button, spoken languages, and then let's add one more. This will be for the programming languages. Save. So now we have two buttons. Let's refresh this. Spoken languages, programming languages. So we have both. They're working. Those buttons don't look very good, though. So 
They don't even look like buttons, so let's change that with some styles. We'll open up appcomponent.css and we'll use this button class. Background color E8. Color 48. Let's give some padding. Margin right so they're not right on top of each other. Border radius, five pixels. Aerial. And then text decoration, none. There we go, looks a little better. So now we can go back and forth between the routes. But we need something to show which route we are currently in. You can look at the address, of course, and you could see it, but it'd be good if we had a visual indication here also. So let's, first we're gonna copy. The only thing that we're gonna change here, we're gonna call this active button. And we'll give it a border. Two pixels solid, give it 28. And the way that's going to show up is in addition to the router link, we also will have a router link active. And we'll use active button, the class that we just created and that we just put in our CSS. And then when I save, we add it to the next one. Save. So whichever route we're in, whichever is the active route using router link active, we add this class active button that we just created here. So we can go back and forth and you can easily see which component you brought up based on the route. Now, next we will add the default route because right now, when you don't put in spoken or programming, you can't see anything. And maybe that's what you want, or maybe you want to default to a certain route. So the way we will do that is we'll go back to our app routing module. And our, right under the programming path, create another path. And this will be, when it's blank, what do we want it to default to or where do we want it to redirect to? So let's say spoken is the first page you want people to see. And we'll put in the route there. And then we'll say path match is full. And that means when you use path match full, the path has to be exact. So now if we save, it's going to default to spoken. So let's say we were in programming, I'm going to take it out. And then when I hit enter and refresh, it should default to spoken. All right, that's how it defaults. And then one more, the wildcard path. So let's say somebody enters in a path that doesn't exist. We have 404, page not found. So you put in the two asterisks for wildcard, and then you can show a component that we create just for that. So I'm gonna create a new component for that. So we'll say ng, g for generate, c for component, and this will be the page not, found 
we'll generate that. And then as soon as we have this new component, we'll just type in a message. We'll keep it simple for now. It'll be page not found. Page not found. Let's open it up. And then I'll just put in a message in the paragraph. Are you sure the URL is correct? Page does not exist. And then I'll, I'll put an H1 here and it says page not found. Save everything. Okay, let's bring that in there. Component should be page not found component. Save. So now if I go in here, spoken, I'll just add an extra letter that doesn't belong there. And then if I hit enter, page not found because that's not a real route that I created. But there is something that you have to keep in mind here. This wildcard path must go last because if if it's first the first thing that it sees will be the wildcard path it won't even go through the rest it'll look through and try to match a path and if the first one is the wildcard everything will be the page not found component so if i click on spoken which we know is a real path still says page not found programming still says page not found but if I take it out of the first one, just delete it out of here and save, then everything works again. So there we have it. You have the basics of Angular routing. Now it does get more complicated. You can have nested routes. You can guard routes based on authentication and various things like that. But now you know the basics. Before I end the video, though, since we're speaking about languages, I want to bring up a place that if you want to learn Spanish, Toragos Language Academy is the place to do it. I really recommend that if you don't already speak a foreign language, you should learn one. It could be French, Spanish, Chinese, whatever language you want to learn. But if you want to learn Spanish, I know for a fact this is a really good place to learn Spanish. You can get your first lesson free. You can take your lessons online whenever it's convenient for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you know the basics for Angular routing and you can continue to learn even more. You can look at Angular documentation, create your own projects, play around with the routing. Thanks for watching.